Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to tell you not to panic. Don't worry. Things will be fine. What is it that actually pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? To be honest, in a hadith Qudsi, he tells us what he loves the most. And there he says, there is nothing more loved to me than that which I made compulsory. So it's obvious from that that he only made it compulsory because he loves it. So if you want the love of Allah and you would like to earn the pleasure of Allah, something you need to do is fulfill that which is obligatory, compulsory in terms of your five daily prayers, especially. So if something is compulsory and Allah has made it compulsory, fulfill it. You will earn his pleasure when you do it, do it properly, do it because you want to do it. Do it because you enjoy it. Take your time. Don't cut corners. The same would apply. The Prophet ﷺ tells us in that narration that thereafter, once the obligations are done, a worshipper continues to engage in that which is voluntary but recommended in terms of sunnah or nafil in the Arabic language. And they would gain even more closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, what would displease Allah is to engage in that which is haram. So we need to make sure we talk properly. We use our time properly. Many people, unfortunately, are using their time very destructively online. They are recording themselves in an inappropriate way and posting it up. They are visiting sites they are not supposed to. This might be, might be in the case of some, the last few days of yours on earth. Is that how you want to spend them? You and I know the reality is people are going and Allah alone knows who is going to go. Don't spend the last few days or the days of hardship in a way that you're earning even more of the wrath or the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to say the least. This is just a short message I thought I'd share with you to encourage myself and yourselves to take a moment to fulfill that which is compulsory properly, enjoy it and then don't do that which is destructive or that which will earn the displeasure of Allah. May Allah make it easy for every one of us. This is just sincere sound advice from your brother. It starts off with myself and then for every one of us. Thank you so much for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.